everybody! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today we're going to be looking at not one, but two months worth of Copacetic Cosmetics subscription boxes. I thought it would just be kind of fun to show you guys two months worth in a row so you can really see just all the awesome stuff that we got in a subscription box, and then you can decide for yourselves if you liked what was included then you can check it out yourself. And the cool thing is, so uh, Copacetic Cosmetics has like three different options for their subscription boxes. And so I got the biggest one, which is essentially $40 per month, and you get five different things. So it looks like you get a full quad of eyeshadow. They're themed each month around something different, and they're brand new every single month. So you're not getting shades that have been like already released in previous months or that are part of their single shadows. You're just getting a brand new quad. They have a full-size liquid lipstick or they have a full-size lip gloss as well. And then you have a mystery item where you don't know what it's gonna be. And then a full-size nail polish and then another mystery sample thing. That's what you get in the full-size convert box. Then they have the medium size one, which is the claw box. And for that one, you get one full-size effect polish, one full-size cream jelly polish, and then one full-size glitter polish. And so they do a ton of different types of nail polishes, which is really, really fun. I have like a whole bunch of other colors of nail polish from them already and so I think that's kind of cool that they have just a whole box around the different types of nail polishes that they do. And then the $10 per month one is the smallest one and you get one of the four shades that's in that quad so you're still getting a brand new shade and then you get either a lip gloss or a lipstick uh, sample size and then you also get a nail polish sample and a mystery sample. So that is probably the best one if you're just wanting to test out Copacetic Cosmetics and you're not really sure what you want to dabble in, get all of it for 10 bucks. And another cool thing that they have is that you can kind of pick and choose between three different things every month. And so you don't have to choose necessarily to have it be a random box. I just like surprises and so I never pick. I just wait to see what shows up, <laughs> but you can pick and choose if you want to. And so I think usually for like the lip products, they'll have three different lip products that you can choose from. They'll have three different nail polishes. And then I think the only thing you can't really choose from is the quad because it's just whatever quad they're gonna have for that month. But I got the big mamma jammas, so we're gonna take a look at those. And the first one is going to be Le December box. And they come in these really pretty, purpley boxes. So I'm sure we are already super duper interested to see what the quad for December looked like. It is this guy. Look at this flaky glitter. Oh my goodness. We're gonna swatch these real quick just so you guys can see. So right away, swatching that guy. <laughs> All right. This guy is one of the flaky glitters that they have and they have a little bit of a wetter consistency. And I, I really kind of like that because you essentially can just use your finger and you start by like rubbing it around but then as you pat it in then you can really get the full shine on there and that is just, that is super cool with all the shifts. Oh man, I'm seeing blue and pink and then as I look on there it almost looks like, like it literally from this angle looks like glass. That's that's real nice. I like that a lot. And then the other three metallic shades because this is just a full quad of metallics. It's like they, they're they after my own heart. So here's the blue one. And that is just a very nice, that's got a little bit of some shift to it too with some green and purple in there, but just a very nice light kind of turquoisey sky blue. Then the purple shade is a very nice metallic-y magenta. And then the deepest of the shades is this guy. And has a, a black base with some really cool bluish, purplish kind of flecks in there. I would say the blue is the most prominent out of them. So in addition to that, we have a New Year Fling perfume sample that is five milliliters of this perfume. And I can definitely already tell you that I smelled it in the box and it smells like, what are those, those little dudes? The nerds, it smells like nerds. Like, you know those boxes of like the strawberry and grape nerds? It smells like that. It's very sweet and sugary, I love it. <laughs> and then the nail polish shade is this guy. And they all have this really cute little heart on the front. 
And then this is the shade, so you can see it's got a really cool pink to kind of bluish shift. Very similar to this metallic up top here. Ooh, there you go, there's a little bit more of that shift for you. Oh man. Then we have two more full size items. The first being this highlighter, and this is the shade Bubbly. There you go, just a very nice light shadow. Let's do a little swatch Rooney. There you go. I would say it's a pretty nice little pinkish undertone there. Very nice and light. Not too crazy. And so if you're wanting just a nice little bit of a glow, I would say that this one is great for that. I do also have another highlighter from them that is Zombie Boogers, and that's a greenish highlighter, and it's not subtle. <laughs> so I think that this is a much nicer, a little bit more subtle type highlighter, but still very, very nice. And then this is the lip gloss, which is very similar to the nail polish in that it's kind of got that like pinkish blue sheen to it. it does have a little bit of a sweet smell to it as well. I touched my nose. <laughs> Let's see here if we can do a little, ooh, very nice. Has a little bit of that pink to blue shift on there, this guy right down here. And just a very nice wet glow, I think. That's gonna be a super nice lip gloss. Probably one of those ones where like, depending on how the light hits it, it looks just like a normal gloss. And then from a different angle, it looks like you've got blue lips. I'm gonna love that one. <laughs> and that is the five items for the December one. And this quad, I am super duper excited to use. Oh man. And these flakies are just super duper nice. I really, really like them. But let's go ahead and take a look at January's box. And the first item, I thought it was neat that they put the sponge in this little container, but you can never have enough makeup sponges because I honestly don't know how to clean them very well, aside from just running them underwater. And so that only lasts for so long. I will never say no to a good sponge. And it's just cute because it's a little lilac. A little like a spongy sponge. Then we have as the sample item, there's the mystery sample comes in this little baggie right here that's holographic. <laughs> we have another highlighter, and it's this guy. That is, <laughs> it's okay, I'm on my bed, <laughs> nothing broke. <laughs> this guy is just a very nice whitish shade. This is the Metal Ox shade. And this almost, I think, is the same formula as their they're flaky glitters. That is interesting. Okay. That is a very nice kind of snowflakey type highlighter. Very pretty. I like that one a lot. Okay, and I will never say no to singles of things. So, got a huge box of them. <laughs> so then the nail polish shade that we have is just like the most perfect kind of periwinkle bluish shade that I could think of. I mean, this is very, very pretty. And it's the Material Comfort shade. I did forget to mention what the shade name was for this guy. In case you guys wanna check it out at the website, it's the New Year's Toast shade. Then we have a liquid lipstick and another periwinkle one. I may or may not have fun with this guy later because I don't wear, I don't normally wear blue on my lips. So that's gonna be a fun one for me to test out. And this is the shade Love Yourself First, which I feel like is a positive message for the new year. And so you can kind of see the difference in the packaging between the gloss and the liquid lipstick in that the liquid lipstick kind of has this cool top thing on it. And then the gloss this comes in a very nice, sleek, squared off kind of container. And then the doe foot for this guy is very pointed. It looks like this. It is different. It's got one of those kind of teardrop shape ones. And let's go ahead and swatch this shade. It's got like some purplish in there as well. It is very nice blue. That is very pretty. And then we have the quad for this month. For this month? <laughs> That's this guy. So you're gonna have two of that flaky type in this one, 
and then a metallic and a matte shade. And the metallic has the shape of an ox on it. And this honestly looks like a four to me. So I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm sure that that is a symbol where I am just missing what it means. But it looks very, very pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch all of them, which means I'm gonna mess up the ox shade. So we're gonna start off with I don't know why I did it for this arm, but you're gonna see both of them. So here's the metallic blue. That's very nice. And that is just blue blue with a little bit of green in there. So you can see it's definitely deeper than the blue that came in the December palette. And then we have the flaky glitter. So I'm gonna press that guy in as I do. This is definitely one of those ones where I had to play around with the glitter a little bit um, the first time that I saw them in uh, one of my other palettes. Uh, and so it, it did take a little bit of getting used to, but once you know how to work with it, they're very nice. And this guy just has some really pretty, I would say light blue and purple shifts. Very, very nice. And then we have the white one and the lilac-y matte shade. And the white one is not a flaky. That is just a very nice chunky metallic. I would say that's almost more of a topper shade. That's pretty light. Yeah, definitely a topper. It's it's not nearly as opaque as the blue one. And it's got some kind of pink shifts in there. So it's a little bit different than the flaky one above it. And then here is the lilac shade. And their mattes are really, really nice and easy to work with and very, very pigmented. So I am not upset about that at all. I will say that in the pan, the matte shades are a little bit dusty, but when you put them on your eye, interestingly enough, you don't really have to tap off your brush at all. They, it just sticks to your eye. And so even though they get flaky in the pan, as soon as you apply it, I have minimal fallout. Like when I did this look, I was dealing with some darker purples on there and it might have gone everywhere in the pan, but on my face, I hardly had to brush anything away at all. So it was really, really nice. And so their matte shades are worth it very much so. And that was the five things for the January box as well. I think this is really, really cute. I, I like that they include like things like the perfume and the sponge. I mean, I'm a sucker for like random things that you wouldn't normally think would go into a makeup subscription box. And so I kind of, I thought that was really cute. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. If any of you guys have already gotten subscription boxes from Copacetic Cosmetics, if you guys are interested in trying them out, if you want me to share February's, I should be having that shipped out to me here, I think probably in a week or two. Yeah, so the boxes ship on the 20th of the month, every month. And so you do get them towards the end of the month. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't either way. Let me know what you think. And if you made it to the end of this video and you have not yet subscribed, I would sure love it if you would. I am uh, slowly, for those of you that have actually made it to the end of the video, I have decided that I am going to do another giveaway here soon. And so I am slowly compiling things for said giveaways. As of right now, we have Davina Cosmetics and Sydney Grace Cosmetics items that are in the giveaway. And I think what I am waiting for is one of two things, to either hit 200 subscribers or to hit the one year mark, which is gonna be like around mid to late March timeframe. If I hit both at the same time, I'm probably gonna do two giveaways. So we'll see what happens, but that's kind of where we're at for right now. And so get another reason, I guess, to stick around until at least March, because <laughs> there may or may not be a giveaway happening soon. So we'll see, but hopefully you guys like this video and just go have a good one.